Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> the Degenerates. And we're back for another podcast. We know you've been waiting for a very long, long time. I'm stupid. You messed up our trend, Ian. Oh, well, I shoot myself. Like we just done. completely We had a thing vibe. going, and we didn't even like rehearse or script that or anything. Actually, but, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we didn't, so, and you ruined it. Yeah, that's why I... Shut up. That's why you're terrible at jazz. It's us. <laughs> Not as bad as Christian <laughs> Elman. So, uh, <laughs> welcome back uh, to the Degenerates Podcast. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> that's, our, that's our new That's our that's new, new slogan, yeah. It's, it's, been new a slogan. it's been a while. We need to trademark that right now. <laughs> I don't think you can trademark that. No, I don't know. Maybe. Nike trademark, just do it. Did they actually? I yeah. thought they couldn't do that. I'm not for sure. Maybe. Can we talk about how, uh, who was it? It was one of the Kardashian girls. I think it was Chloe or something. Tried to trademark her name. Seriously? Cl- like Chloe Kardashian or named Chloe? Chloe. The name Chloe. Oh, that's, that's cool. and She's supposed to with a K though, right? Yeah. And an well, H. I thought it was C-H. That's and how you normally do it. No, there was this, yeah, she's supposed with a K, I think. Huh, anyway, there okay. was this, uh, like, Australian singer uh, who like her manager like got snapped back at that because the singer's name was Chloe, <laughs> and uh, he snapped back saying, uh, uh, "We'd like it if you didn't trademark th- that name because, <laughs> unlike you, we're not just popular in the U.S. We're popular worldwide." So <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. I thought that was pretty funny. Did you hear that? Like, it wasn't recent. It's like a while ago though. Like one of the Kardashians tried to start a GoFundMe page You're so serious. she would become like the quickest billionaire alive you're serious no dead on dead on people use gofundme for like the you know to, to find like money to help raise awareness for like diseases or like to help like give money to charities mm-hmm. and then there's people who are just like hey i want to be a billionaire Zach, i really money. wish you wouldn't have started and the with youngest that. one too why because right when he says people use GoFundMe, and I said for the dumbest reasons, and then you started talking about, like, to find diseases and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I heard so that. So now I sound really like an ass. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> um, I mean, you don't care about the economy. Shut up! <laughs> I did not say that. Okay, I did, but I messed up the word. Man, I love taking stuff out of context, just like the media. Great. Dude, you're going to be perfect one day. You're going to be amazing. You're going to be the next Alex Jones, but <laughs> Alex Ross. No, just I'm take like his already last halfway name. there. Yeah, can you actually take his last name? Some just get, other... a, get adopted by Derek Jones. Get adopted by Derek, Dude. and then you will be Alex Jones. That's a genius <laughs> idea. Derek, will you be my dad? <laughs> yeah, I know you're not listening to this. He doesn't. He's he's like a real dad. He doesn't actually support you on anything. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you doing, Ian? Texting my dad. <laughs> I'm texting my dad. Oh, talking about how like I wish you would love me. <laughs> yeah, we're having a conversation right now. Why I suck. <laughs> so uh, we just got out of a really interesting jazz um, practice. Oh, are we actually going to talk about that? I want to so badly because Alex, you're gossip called. time. Go- gossip Woo! time. Girl talk. Okay, girl talk, guys. That's our uh, new segment. Girl talk. Time to spill the tea. Is that what they do now? Spill the mother tea. Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Uh, I got my phone. I just... There we go. That's that's <laughs> the tea quick down. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Alex, I, don't, I think this is a story you should tell. So, in jazz today, we had this really cool guest come. His name was Randy Crow. Actually, He's like, actually before we talk about this, I want to talk about this guy real quick. So okay. I, I don't know much about him. Randy Crow. Know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about him personally, but, like, he plays trombone, and it's awesome because our band doesn't have any trombones. But, like, oh, my goodness, he is probably one of the best trombone players I've ever heard because, like, most of them, like, trombone's a low instrument. Yeah. Like, they play on the bass clef. But, like, he was playing, like, notes, like, up there that I play on trumpet, and he was playing them on, like, trombone, which is super impressive to do. And, like, he was jumping, like, full octaves on a trombone without even moving his slide, which is very impressive and, like, I don't know. He he just knew exactly what he was doing, and it's it's been a while since I've seen a trombone player do stuff like you know, that. So like, is trombone really cool. like one of the hardest instruments to learn, just because of slide? Actually, no. I, that... I feel like it, that actually makes it easier. Oh, okay. Because like when you think about it, like, like when, I would when never Hibbler, when Hibbler told me about it, 
I was like, oh, that's even easier than fingerings, because, like, on a trumpet, like, for the first fingering, that would be, like, first slide. Oh, okay. Like, two, one and two would be second position. So does it so, just like, allow you like to do more? It's, like, the same thing. It just allows you to do even more, yeah. Is okay. it, like, alphabetical order, like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G? No, 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 no. No? No. Which, I've always thought that was really weird. Like, it's like not. Da, da, it probably da, just takes da, a while da, to, like, da, memorize da, da, the positions. Yeah, that's the thing. I would never be Like, that would that. just be the hard part. Well, I mean, I it's the same thing as memory, memorizing fingerings, except there's less positions to memorize than there are fingerings. Oh, okay. So like, it's actually a little easier. I think there's, yeah, there's, like, <clears throat> actually, I have no idea. I think there's, like, five positions on a trombone. Okay. There's, like, seven or eight different fingerings on trumpet. So okay. That's pretty cool. How about for a saxophone? Saxophone's even easier to memorize. I, yeah, what well, they have. A it's weird because the the more fingerings, the more. Okay, saxophone. Uh, the, the easiest instrument for people to start on is clarinet, because like, hmm. the chromatic just goes straight down. Like all your fingers go down. And, oh, like, okay. They go up. And, like that's how it works. But everyone starts on a recorder. Yeah, I know. Shut up. It, a recorder is just a clarinet without a reed. Oh, I thought it was a flute. Oh wait, no. Why did I think that? <laughs> So like, so the more <laughs> <laughs> the more the dumb. the more buttons there are, it's easier to memorize. Cause like, to play like a certain note, it's always gonna be the same fingering. But on mm. trumpet, like that one fingering, you can play like eight different notes. Oh, uh, like, okay. I can play like C, G, E, and like D, all open without pressing anything. Weird. Okay. No, it's, it's okay. Weird. Anyway, Alex. Uh, Continue. Oh, story. Randy Crow. Like like Zach said, he's a really cool trombone guy. And he's a guest jazz musician that Hitler contacted. How does Hitler know? Uh, I have no idea, but I don't care because he's really good yeah. at trombones. I always wonder like how we get these guest people. Like Chris Zucker? I forget. I don't know. Well, I mean, the, the the friend that Hitler was talking about today, Ryan whatever. Heifer? Heif- Heifer. <laughs> uh, no, that's not his name. Ryan something. Uh. Uh, the Mr. Crow. He to- afterwards he told me that he was also really good friends with that guy. Mm-hmm. That's okay. who he had re refinish his trombone. So, so it's probably so maybe connected. he knows him through a friend yeah. or something. Hmm. Okay. But uh, this guy came in, and usually kids are able to work on homework sometimes and go to other classes. But we have a concert and two rehearsals or one rehearsal now. And Noel and Bella, they're wanting really badly to go do something else. It started with Isaac. Isaac? Yeah, uh, Borderlander. Border, Borderlander? Yeah, that's how you said last time. Isaac. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hitler kind of yelled at him, like, actually come practice and help out. Cause because he was, he was doing homework, and, like, yeah. Isaac obviously was upset. Like, he, like, closed his book, like, really heavily, and he was, like, trudging. Oh, really? I, yeah, didn't, because, I didn't see I mean, that. I understand where he's coming from, though, because, like, well, he yeah, has a lot of homework like, that he know, wants to get done. Like, but, like, any day, like, the last two, like, practices we have... Like, those yeah. should be dedicated mm-hmm. to jazz. So I agreed with Hibbler today. Yeah. Yeah, I actually did, too. And, like, Noel and Bella were wanting to do the same thing. Like, they were just wanting to leave the classroom. But Hibbler kept on telling them, hey, you should come back because we really need you guys. And it's well, kind of no, rude and so disrespectful Hibbler to just leave. told them to come out there. And then yeah. without talking to him, oh yeah, they just straight up were leaving. Which is, like, that's kind of... It's very disrespectful. very disrespectful, especially with the guests, too. But then uh, Bella actually Bella put her listened. stuff down yeah. and came and played and left what she was doing. But Noelle just went on and just kind of disrespected Hibbler and everyone else. Wasted by just, our time. Yeah, wasted our time and just walked off anyways. And the one thing I was actually impressed with Hibbler about was he didn't yell at all. He was very calm and collected the entire situation. I know, that's like, the I thing. I was very like, impressed. I, w- I was impressed by that. And like, I, thought, I thought he was going to go off with Noelle. Me too. And then like, mm-hmm. he was like, you know, like... You have priorities to this band, blah blah blah. You should be a part of this band, and like you need you need to dedicate your time to being part of this band and playing your part. Cause, oh, this is the part that kind of made me upset. And like, I got I felt like I looked at Roger, and we both felt really awkward after this part. Uh, he said, "Cause who's gonna play your part?" Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Well, Mr. Crow plays my part." Dude, that's so no. And then no. Hibbler didn't hear that, so she said she just said it again. Yeah. She's like, well, Mr. Louder. She's like, well, Mr. Crow plays my part. <laughs> oh my god. And me and Roger just like cringed at that. I like, heard you say like look down. It's like quit while you're ahead. Yeah. You're well, not even ahead right now. Like she's yeah, so I mean, far behind. She was so far behind that I I don't know, but like she's I, just so stubborn that she wants to keep going. I know. I was like about to just say no. I'll just. 
either walk out or put your stuff down, please. Don't keep this going on any longer than it has to be going because mm-hmm. it's so awkward. And then Hibbler said, uh, next year, we're definitely doing auditions. For people who don't care, like, and just waste our time, like, they won't even be a part of it. Yeah, and then he was like, and for people who just leave, they're going to get kicked out next year. Exactly. Which honestly, I love that. I was, I like, I was like, I'm okay with that because, like, <laughs> A, it's a pretty good joke. B, it'll make the band sound better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. During that entire time. I was, me and Sam were just playing Operation with a triangle. I was going to say, I saw you, like, just hold the triangle beater up in the air like you are wielding Thor's hammer, just like, oh. I don't I don't remember that. Or, I don't know. It looked like that from my so, point of view. So, here's the better part of the story. So, both JC and Morgan went out there, like, because they, they, they were coming back from classes. Yeah. And they found Noelle just walking around the school with Ethan. Wait, I didn't hear the Oh. You're kidding. No. Nope. Morgan told me right after. Yep. Uh, J- JC class went two. right up to Hibbler and was like, hey, I'm just going to tell you. Noel was just out there walking with Ethan around the halls. Oh, my oh, gosh. Your stepsister is literally the epitome of people. <laughs> Wait, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, we're all people. Yeah, she's the epitome of all of us. Like, all the bad stuff? Or, like, yeah. okay. Just people. Siri, define epitome. <laughs> <laughs> a person or thing. She's the epi- that is she's a perfect person example. of a person. A person or a thing that is a perfect example of a perfect or particular type. <laughs> you just called her perfect. <laughs> Ian! <laughs> I didn't know you still had feelings. This isn't fall of 2018, okay? You're not in a relationship with her still. No comment? I wanted her to listen to this just so we can roast her. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just now, now it's just she'll all listen on to it. You. She'll be like, "Oh wow, I'm so mad at them." And then she'll like stop listening. And then like right before she stops listening, she just hears Ian call her perfect. She'll be like, "Wait, really?" I really, <laughs> I really wish we didn't like be family friendly because I have a lot of words to say to you right now and then about Noel. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, don't do it here, because, like, my dad does listen to this, too. I know. And, like, I don't want to, like, openly Ryan, if you're hearing this, that's your stepdaughter, by the way. Yeah. Congratulations. Tisk, tisk, tisk. (laughs) (laughs) What what just happened? I was, like, sitting on my leg really weirdly, and then I moved my leg a little bit, but kind of sprained my foot. I don't know how I did it. If you sprained your foot, you would be crying right now. No, like, it felt like it was beginning to, Uh so I stopped. So, another great story that's happened today. So, we, we're all a part of the Forensics Club, as we've stated a thousand times. Every year we go to um, a Forensics Workshop slash matinee at Sterling Community College. Oh, yeah. It's really Wait, fun. it's not a community college, though. Is it? Is it no, a, it's not. No, it's four-year. It, it's a four-year. Oh, I knew that, but just, I didn't know what to call it. It's not a uni. It's yeah, just it's not a, a university. It's just it's a Sterling college. college. It's just college. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it's in the community of Sterling. I it's mean, basically a most colleges. Oh, is it? Usually, I, when I think of Sterling College, it's a I think of community college. It's a community college, but it's not years. a JUCO. Yeah. Okay. So we go. It's really fun. Every year we go to two workshops. We get food, and then we watch a pretty good play. <laughs> this year was going to be the same, but because of a certain play called Fences, which um, a lot of people probably have seen it because of Denzel Washington. He was in the movie of it. Really? Yeah. I'm going to watch it tonight, actually, because we're not watching it now. I kind of want to watch it, too. But um, it's a very offensive play. Not offensive, but like it has a lot of racial slurs, such as the N-word. It has infidelity in it. Wait, mm. they were going to say the N-word? Sterling got really risque this year. Yeah, that's kind of risky. Right? I know. So there was, there's a lot of other things. Like there's graphic... um humor and gr- actual graphic like murders and stuff so our our administration itself the one in clearwater high school says you guys cannot watch that have they even watched it themselves no i don't i'm probably oh probably gosh. not but yeah that was one of the reasons we are not going to watch the play this year the other reason is because they need a bus back here again i hate they've that. been making those decisions all year long and we so never stupid. have this issue there's like we have like 30 buses why couldn't they just we, use another one? We've done these type of things plenty of times before, and the buses always get back on time, and yeah. we never have any scheduling conflicts. It's just this year. 
It's so dumb. Oh my! It's so irritating. It's ru- like, it's I, ruining like all the stuff that this, we love okay. to do every year. The school system should have a way. If a bus is late from an event, they should have a way to fill in that position. Like maybe, it's dumb not to. Do you think they're just like a shortage of maybe bus drivers? Maybe, or they're just cutting down, saving money. Okay, that could be a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but I feel like we've actually gotten new bus drivers this year. I have seen multiple new bus drivers. And a lot of the old ones, I haven't, like, I've seen them still. Like, I just think we've gotten more bus drivers, actually. Honestly, huh. it's very weird. But yeah, like it, it kind of takes me off. So, it's actually funny. Uh, So, we're going to go to those two workshops. Then we're going to have lunch. Then you all have to wait for me for, like, 30 minutes. Why? Because I have a meeting still. We can just uh, play hacky sack. And we can play hacky sack. Yeah. I'll say that yeah. really sucks because, like, I'm not really interested in the workshops. Yeah, like, I, I want to watch yeah, the play. I That's do the same workshops every year. I don't care about those. I go for the play. Yeah. And, like, I've done all of them before, too. But what time are we going to get back to school? Or, th- or no, we're getting back about 3. Th- three. So, okay. okay. So school will still be over? Originally, we were supposed to get back at, like, 4.30. What time are we going to be leaving to go up there? Uh, I think we have to be here at school by, at, at 6.30. Oh, dang. What? That seems earlier than normal. I think it do, it does feel earlier than normal. I don't remember though. So do you say we're getting back at three thirty? I have no idea. Because if so, that's after school anyways. I know. And like, I have no idea. If we were late, back. it wouldn't even matter. I have no idea what we're getting back. Okay. I know we're leaving almost right after lunch. Hmm. Okay. But well, what was I gonna say? Man, I forgot it. Hmm. That sucked. It's all right. Yeah. It's because people forget things sometimes, Ian. Yeah. Like my grandma. Oh. She has Alzheimer's. Oh. Wait, she, say she, it again. She, say that again. Alzheimer's? Say it one more time. No. Say it. Come on. No. Please. You know you want to. I don't want to be really cool again. Wait, say that again? No! Okay, so when I was <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought it was called old timers. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good old timers. Hear me out. Because like I was like, oh, oh. It's well, the disease people. that old people get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the old timers <laughs> disease. And it makes you forget. I didn't know. When I was little, um, I would always go over to my friend's house and watch them play Black Ops 2 Zombies. And, they'd always, and I'd always ask them, hey, what are you guys playing? And they said, Black Cops. I was like, wait, Black what? Cops? So for the longest time, I thought it was Call of Duty Black Cops. Call the game Duty where Black you shoot Cops. yourself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Stop resisting! <laughs> that reminds commentary. me of Blazing Saddles when he holds himself hostage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Cops. The social commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So what's our next topic, boys? Um, Colts! We could talk about that we right now. We could talk about that. No, no, no. We're not talking about the same boring old Colts as last time. No, 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 no. No, no, no. New no. and improved. New and improved Colts. PCC. Pensacola Pratt Christian. Community College. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why Austin is the way he is. He's in a cult. Yes. Oh. I can see it. Any, anyways, like, PCC, it's a college that I've been thinking about attending. But then... Pensacola Christian College? What is yeah. it? Yeah, Pensacola okay. Christian College. Mm-hmm. But uh, my dad actually looked at some of the rules one day and, like, regulation. Because, and um, what he found on there was, like, kind of shocking. Like, they're very legalistic. They're ver- they're hardcore fundamentalists there. Should we pull up the document? Uh, We can. I'll pull it up. It's in your Google Docs, right? Uh, It should be on my tab still. Let's see. Is PCC a cult? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anyways, was... um, some of the rules there, they're just... We, they're just really stupid and like they don't they're unnecessary uh they're a christian college they ban contemporary christian music jazz music and all other sorts of music like you can only listen to hymns hymns and classical music pretty much that's just one example um you can't have a scruffy beard it can't be past half an inch i wouldn't be allowed there uh, for a long time they banned facebook twitter youtube all that type of stuff my my Yikes. question is how they how do they like find all that? I don't know. I have because no that's idea. an invasion of privacy. Kinda. Wait, find all what? Like if you're on Facebook, Twitter. No, what happens is like, well, I what they don't 
if they see you on it, they'll obviously yeah. get in trouble. Well, that's obvious. Like, but I mean, like, well, they do it on your own time. They were. Rest- if you're connected to the Wi-Fi, Ooh, they restrict like, it from like Wi-Fi. Like they do it from ours. Yeah. Oh, like the Barracuda. It's, like, it's kind of like what our school does. Like they probably do that with the Wi-Fi. So like, if the if the people are using their own data, they can still get on that stuff. Mm-hmm. But if people see them being on it, they'll probably get in trouble. So uh, okay. our Chromebooks, those are automatic. Those are connected to the main system. Mm-hmm. Those are all blocked. Okay. But if you have your own personal phone and then you're on school Wi-Fi, not all the sites are blocked. But like the really bad sites. Okay. And they all and they will still get notifications if you're on the other sites. Yeah. But if you're on your own data, you're completely free. Okay, that that's makes how sense. it works. But so, talk about like how you found out that they're kind of like bad. Well, like just looking at the rules and my dad talking to me about it, but also um I wanted to find out if it's classified as a cult, so I figured out uh learned about this one model that psychologists use to measure a cult. It's called the bite model. So it's behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotional control. And there's 33 things that determine whether it's cool or not. Like, different methods that they Mm -hmm. use to brainwash or, like, trick people into joining, you know. And out of 33, Pensacola Christian College passed for 21 of them. So that's, Mm -hmm. like, 60%. And now that doesn't necessarily qualify as a cult. Like, there's no set standard yeah. saying this is a cult or not. But but <laughs> just the fact that like there's Quite that high. many things Quite up high. there that's pretty high yeah. and kind of unnecessary. I was like, I believe almost all colleges would be above fifteen. Mm-hmm. I kind of see just all colleges being that way. So I mean, colleges do influence you a lot. Yeah, and they're like college years are like the most formative years of your life. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have a great influence on you. But, yeah, I'm going there for spring break to check it out. But I'm kind of glad I learned about all this so I, I can go in there with a skeptical mind. But, um, also, they have church every single day, which, like, I think that's a little excessive. And you have to wear a full-out suit and tie. Like, I love learning about God, but, like, every single day. And if you miss it, you get demerits, too. Oh, talk about the demerit system. Oh, yeah. So, Derek Jones, uh, Wait. pastor at my church. What? You didn't tell me about this. What? Bye, Zach. Information control? Yeah, so on your information control, one of them is encourage you to spy and report on others. Okay. You didn't tell me about that part. So there is this one article that I found. I don't know if it was very true or not because it was. it's like on a subreddit. Mm, okay. It's just someone's experience. But, yeah, okay. Um, they said that they uh, kind of hunted people down for uh, pregnancy control. Like okay, if someone yeah. got pregnant... Or, uh, they noted they had like signs of like extreme nausea or throwing up a lot. Mm-hmm. Like somehow a person reported that to the security guards, and they kind of like kept tabs on them. Eventually, had them called into their office to talk about it. Okay. Then there's also another thing. I don't know if it's true or not. It also it was also like on a subreddit too. But um, there was a girl who got raped on campus. Mm-hmm. But um, she almost got expelled for that. For being raped. Yeah. For being a victim, for being in a situation where she had no control over, but I mean, it's kind of that mindset um, that some Christians have, or not Christians, but just like hardcore conservatives, you know, like, like if, if you're being raped, there you did it to yourself because you're like throwing out signals and stuff. Yeah, you're like being immodest, you yeah. know, being scandalous in that nature, and it's so stupid. Mm-hmm. So, um, continue your story. That just caught my eye. Oh yeah. Anyways, Derek Jones, a uh, guy that we know at church. Um, he wanted to build a fort in his room, his dorm room one time. He's the oldest child you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. He's such a great guy. But um, he built a fort in there, and he got demerits for that, for just building a fort in his dorm room. That sucks. It was stupid. And then you'd also get demerits if you got caught like listening to music that's inappropriate or not according to the rules and stuff, too. They're just so strict and legalistic and so, so unnecessary. I know a lot of colleges do demerits. What does that mean? If you get a certain amount of demerits, it kind of it's like a punishment. Okay. Is to get you to stop doing it. It's kind of like um in eighth grade, you know how we got the marks. They don't do the that grade. anymore. They don't. So Interesting. Stupid. It was kind of like that. If you got so many demerits, you could lose scholarships or you could even get expelled. Okay. Yeah. So Derek, I, he didn't get much, but like. Just still the fact yeah. that he got demerits for something little like that. 
So, the main reason I, me and Alex wanted to bring this up, like this whole thing, is because we, we're not, if Derek does watch, his, watch our podcast, we're not saying you're in a cult. Yeah, exactly. We're saying you have taken some things from this place. Not even that, too. Yeah, like, not, like, fully extended. But, like... Because Derek's one of the smartest guys yeah, I've know. Yeah, it's like, just, every, like, even from our school, we take a lot of things we learn and we apply that to real life. Mm-hmm. And but, one, one of the things is you use lo- loaded language and cliches to stop complex thought. Oh, yeah, Zach, didn't you talk about that a little bit? You talk about what? The... So, it's like where you throw in a lot of like numbers and stuff. Who keeps calling? I don't know, but someone keeps calling. Huh. But like with Derek, he's like he doesn't. He's very smart, mm-hmm. and he like researches everything for himself, yeah. and he makes his own point of view. Like he said, PCC. Um, he didn't agree with like a lot of the stuff they they talked about. Like they're King James version only. Oh yeah. That's one example. But um. It helped him formulate his own beliefs and, like, even strengthen them because he figured out what he learned and what was biblical and mm-hmm. stuff. So it was a good experience for him. But, like, I just wouldn't want to be in that situation and have to deal with that stuff, you know? Okay, yeah. I think at my house, the King James Bible is literally in the very back with dust. Really? We do not use King like, James. Like, it's all right, but they say that, um, There's oh, a- one, one, I remember I told you this earlier. Uh, some girl wrote an essay yeah. talking about, um, uh, the professor wanted them to write a critique about why King James Version is the only true Bible. All other Bibles are evil. She wrote a critique of it, and she got reported on for that and had to like talk about it to the office and mm-hmm. got lectured on about it. Even though they asked her to write a critique about it. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that was true either. Like These are all just on subreddits that okay, I've yeah. read, so there's no true um, relevance here to it, I guess. So. Okay, these last two for emotional control. Yeah, this would automatically turn me off from this. Shun you if you disobey or disbelieve. Mm-hmm. That you should never be shunned in Christianity for that, because no. it is a choice. Teach, teach that there is no happiest happiness or peace outside the group. And like that sounds like Islam. Yeah. Now I don't know if that really qualifies it, but it's also kind of when I was when I highlighted that I thought kind of thought of the. Us versus them mindset. Yeah. Like, the very... Like, if you're not Christian, then you're not a good person. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Like, that's why... That's the major turnoff for me. Like, they're so anti-worldly uh-huh. that they're not even an accredited college. They they are, but they're accredited by some um, not really credited... Uh, Sources? Yeah. Okay. Man, well, that took out the option of you and me going to the same place. <laughs> yeah. I actually looked it up. It's You're only, like... If you went there, you would only be about 20 minutes away from me. Really? Yeah, wow. from my college. Hmm. Which I am not going to Pensacola. For Thank goodness. I have fun in Pensacola, by the way. I'm going to the Naval Academy there. Yeah. For information. Information. Oh, information control? Kind of. <laughs> I'm going... Yeah. I'm going oh, to, it sounds like PCC. <laughs> I'm going to, for um, information technician. So. Okay. I'm like Winston. Oh, no. Oh, no. In 1984. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, I love Mrs. Mize's class right now. Hold on, no. Remember, we have to save this for the We're not going to talk podcast. about anything about this book. Oh, yeah. Because our final project that we're going to do is going to be, we're all going to record a podcast, and the podcast is going to be about that book. It's going to be so good. So if book you really podcast. like book clubs, then uh, boy, do we have the podcast for you. Just, I know Mrs. Mize listens to this. Mm-hmm. I hope Mrs. Pulliam starts to. We need to get her subscribed immediately. But, um, <laughs> I am absolutely in love with her class right now. Me too. Just I'm loving it. Everything we're doing. It's great. And this isn't talking about the book. Just the conversations we've had about the book, mm-hmm. the conversation we had leading up to it, such as about communism and how it's, it's a great idea, but it's how it's a failure to our time. I'm still triggered about that cahoot, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> it too. was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But it was. It's great right now. I'm loving it. Yeah. I was like, even the just the book discussion, mm-hmm. which I every time we've ever done a book discussion in high school, in that sporadic circle, mm-hmm. it sucks. Yeah, we never have good discussions. It's just like, let's answer this question, let's go. Mm-hmm. It really depends on the people in the class. But I think, and we have a good class. Yeah. I feel like. I'm also loving government right now. Me too. Like we just got done with our bill project, which most of them were good. 
Most of them were crappy. Yeah, most of them were crappy. I'd say it was like 50 50. Yeah. And most of the good ones, I didn't even vote yes for. Because mm-hmm. a lot of them were like very democratic. Yeah. All the bad ones, they were just dumb. No we effort putting sh- should We should lower the tobacco age to 18. My class, 19. Not yeah. 18. My class was a very conservative class. Mm-hmm. Everyone was conservative. There were two Democrats and one independent. We had four Democrats and one independent. And uh, the only two, like, the only two bills that didn't pass, <laughs> one was about gun control, and the other one was about free health care. Mm-hmm. So, I mean. Yeah. Those usually wouldn't pass. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm loving senior classes right now. Me too. I'm liking it a lot. I say right burgers. I had that, we had that one dis- disagreement, but it's getting better. I mean, yeah. Today, like, I was telling Alex about this. Today, we were just talking about, um, like, um, food insecurity. And, like, one-fourth of the kids in Clearwater actually are in poverty. And it's, like, 80%. No, 70% for Wichita in general? 80%. 80%. Oh, no, 70 in Wichita in general. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, like, West High, it's, like, almost 90%. Mm-hmm. It's it's so dumb. I've never known that poverty was, like, so bad in Wichita. And you can look that up on for every school district, every building mm-hmm. in Kansas. Because they put it on a report card. That's and crazy. not just that, but you can see the race, the ethnicity, um migrants that are coming mm-hmm. but i look we one fourth of our school is um disability really yeah i did not know that um, what yeah one fourth one fourth classified for disability wow Jeez. that's why we have so many tas that that, ver- that interests me wow let's talk about trevor's bill what is what was trevor's getting rid of tas <laughs> <laughs> and then someone combat his bill yeah, Veronica Epps. <laughs> Noah right? just texted me saying, hey, you busy right now? What are you doing right now? He said, you busy right now. I'm going to say... Uh, About to send you work. Yeah. You're going to be busy soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, I think this is a good po- way to end. Wait, when, are you, when do you have to be be back? So, uh, my grandma's coming get me at 4.30. Right here. Here? Yeah. Okay, I kind of want to talk school. about um another thing. What do you want to talk about? More cults. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're so, getting into cults. So um, I actually recently watched this YouTube documentary about Scientology recently. Oh, that's a cult. Yeah, I know. I was like, but anyone, it, everyone believes that's a cult. I watched it last night and this morning, too. And there are these two guys who are so much like Bill and Ted from Bill and Ted's Excellent uh-huh, Adventure. Yeah. Like oh, Reeves. no. The two of them infiltrated Scientology and became members of it. You're and, um, serious. What is this called? I w- I'm going to watch this. It's called Infiltrating Scientology. <laughs> yes. The U- YouTube channel names is uh, Reckless Max or something like okay, that. Okay, yeah. It's really quality uh, YouTube. Like, it, they, they, uh, like, their comedy and stuff, they do skits and stuff, too. It's a lot like old YouTube, like 2010. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like clickbaity videos yeah, yeah, or anything yeah. like that. But um, it's hilarious. The guy wear snapchat glasses and using and is using them as a spy glasses so he's wearing them and like talking to all scientology officials Does trying to learn Tom more Cruise? about it no he didn't eat Tom Cruise. that's disappointing but he's trying to learn everything there is about it and um there's this one part where he was talking to a person and they're really recommending to him to get the dianetics book which is like the bible of scientology and uh, he said, oh, I'm really low on money right now because he didn't actually want to pay money for it. Yeah. And so he said, uh, you know, I maybe I can get the money. And then so he came back and said, okay, so I went to my friend's house, stole my PS, his PS4, sold it for like 150 bucks so that I could pay for the book. And they're like, oh, okay, uh, here's the book. What? <laughs> <laughs> they just took it. Yeah, they just took it. That's great. And then there's another part where um, there's – all a scam to uh level up they're like ot levels you have to get to 10 that's like spiritual it's like a video game it is like a video game but in order to keep going um they had to go to a sauna test to remove all the toxins from your body which doesn't actually make sense it's not you don't I feel like there was an episode of rick and morty about that really there I, feel, was. I feel like there is <laughs> but um they're really promoting them to pay $2,500 to remove their toxins by going to a sauna, uh, running on a treadmill, and that's basically it. All the stuff you can do at a gym. 
but they are selling it for twenty five hundred dollars. And they also said that uh, eventually you'll start to uh, sweat out blue for some reason. And it, it, it made no sense at all. It was okay. really weird. See, okay, I have read a lot of stuff from like groups such as the KKK, neo-Nazis, and like Westboro Baptist Church. Because I am a firm believer that before like, the, you pass judgment on these people, you should understand how they got these ideas and mm-hmm. where... Scientology is one of the things I've never looked into. I know nothing about them. I looked into it a lot, actually. I have, just from my perspective, I've always thought of it as a cult, so mm-hmm. I've never cared to look into it. It is a cult. It it's is. It's exactly a cult. Okay. Like, I've always thought that, mm-hmm. which I don't believe in neo-Nazis or KKK or the West World Baptist Okay. West World Baptist Church. That's not a cult, because that's just a family. I, I would still recommend that. Is that? Cult classified as a yeah, cult. Yeah, okay. Just because of their methods. But yeah, like... I've looked into them because I differentiate them from the Westboro ba- or from Scientology. Mm-hmm. Like more people are drawn to it, and it's mainly because they are like born into it. Yeah. Where Scientology is literally drawing people in. No one's being drawn into the Westboro Baptist Church because mm-hmm. they're just so far out there. Yeah. But so what is like what is their actual belief? I'll tell you what one of their services was like. Okay. So. Uh, one of their servers that like anyone could go to, there's a pastor up there, and he was like, okay, today we're going to learn some new commandments. They're new commandments? Just some new commandments, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're relatively simple, but, but they can also be really difficult. One of them was, have two feet. Have two feet. Have two feet. Have two feet. He said this for like a minute straight, just repeating the same thing. Later on, he's like, okay, let's, let's step this up a bit. We're ahead. We're ahead. We're ahead. Touch a man. Touch a female. Wear two toes. Or not not wear two toes. Wear wear two feet. Just stuff like that. It doesn't even classify as like I'm inspirational. Drawn to these. No. <laughs> okay. I think yeah. that's I think that's a good place to end. Yeah. So what if you're gonna do anything today? I'm back. Wear a head. Wear a head. Wear two feet. Have two um, hands. Have two hands. Zach, what do you think about that? Do you wear your head? Do I wear my head? Yes. Always. Do you have two feet? Always. Do you have two hands? On a good day. You're in, you're in Scientology now. Congrats. Wait, no! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> this has been the DeGeneres Podcast. Thank you for listening. Uh, Noah, but, uh, I know it's your birthday, but uh, just have fun uh, editing this because uh, it's bad. And happy, happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Bye! Bye!